Hi everyone, in this video I want to go over a book on linear algebra. The book is called Finite Dimensional Vector Spaces and it was written by Paul Halmos. So Paul Halmos was a very very famous mathematician and he passed away uh, several years ago. He wrote many many great books and this is one of them. This is a nice book. It's a good size, um, you know, nice hard cover. Um, I don't know what edition they're on now, but I'll try to find a link and leave one in the description. Let's take a look inside this amazing book. This is the inside cover. You see, this is the previous owner. I wonder where he is now. Let's keep looking. The University Series in Undergraduate Mathematics. Really cool, old school book, right? This is an older book. There it is, Finite Dimensional Vector Spaces by Paul Halmos. Professor of Mathematics, the University of Chicago. That's a really good school, uh, especially for mathematics. This book was printed in 1958. That was a long time ago. And I guess the first edition was made in 1942. Recall that this is the second edition of this awesome book. This is the table of contents. He starts off by talking about vector spaces. Really good place to start a linear algebra book. It's kind of strange the way, um, you know, the contents are set up. It's like everything is side by side instead of, you know, vertical. Then he goes on to transformations and then orthogonality. There's some more topics here. And then he talks about analysis and there's an appendix on the Hilbert space and some recommended reading, index of terms and index of symbols. So there, are, there are no answers uh, to any of the exercises in this book. This is the section on subspaces, and honestly, one of the best things about this book is the readability. I always feel that, you know, the books by Paul Halmos are really good to read because he has a different writing style than other authors do. So if you're looking for, like, a good linear algebra book to read, I think this one is a good choice. Here are some of the exercises, and they're really quite interesting. Let's look at number one. Consider the set C of complex numbers as a real vector space. And suppose that for each complex number x, we define the functions y as follows. Now, one of the things that's uh, a little bit unfortunate about this problem is the notation here, right? Those Greek letters, you know, they take a lot of practice and skill to get good at. I've always had a really hard time <laughs> with these letters. And they want you to know uh, in which cases is y a linear functional. So really nice problems. Not really that difficult. Um, the big downside is, again, there are no answers in the back of the book, and that is probably the biggest negative of this book. This is the chapter on orthogonality, and I always find that this is a fun chapter to read because it's not that hard, right? This is one of those things in linear algebra that really is easy for most people compared to a lot of other topics. There's a lot of linear algebra topics that are hard, uh, and I don't think that this is one of them, right? I think that a lot of the, you know, problems and exercises uh, and things surrounding orthogonality are really not that difficult. Now, having said that, you know, things still can get pretty complicated. Um, it's just it's one of those sections that you find in every linear algebra book that's always, like, fun to read, you know? So, yeah, good stuff. This is the section on power series. This is one of those topics that's typically not covered in linear algebra books. In fact, I have many linear algebra books and almost none of them have this, but this one does, right? So almost does cover power series, which is interesting. So you do get some additional topics that are kind of, you know, different. Overall, this is a really good linear algebra book for just like reading. If you're looking for a book to maybe supplement your current one or supplement a course you're taking, or maybe just learn a little bit extra linear algebra. Again, the book is Finite Dimensional Vector Spaces by Paul Halmos. This is an older book. As we saw, I believe the first printing was made in the 40s, right? Really, really old school book by a really old school mathematician. Take care.